Beloved Masters, welcome on the journey home. We have been with you from the very beginning. We have watched you grow and glow and change and experience. Make mistakes, many, many successes. Quite a journey we've all had. You have no idea how vast you truly are. What you have experienced, what you have done, you would not fear, you would not hesitate. You would know without a doubt where you're going, what you will be, and that your journey will be a success. Many talk about predestination and then free will. And so how can that be? You are predestined to return into the, not into the God source, like so many say we will all be, we, we are already united with God. Within a great hologram, you are a spark of divinity that is expressing your unique divinity. But you will go, be going back into the realms where you belong. But what you have done, some would say that this experiment is not a success, that it's a failure. No, it is not a failure. We did not know that it would be so difficult to manifest in the material realm. We did not know that love would be so difficult to keep that pure, unconditional love that is the essence of who you are. We did not know what would take place down to these aeons of time and the different things that happened that were not your fault. It is all a great story. However, everything that you experienced has been used. All of the good, all of the beauty, all of the harmony, all of the successes are being reserved and they will be used within the next golden galaxy where all the negativity it will be resolved back into primal life force neutral substance. And so you are predestined. When you left, your pathway was made back to your home among the stars. Every time you refracted yourself, you separated and you left an etheric replica of yourself in a light pyramid to be reserved there, just as you're going to reunite with your sacred triad when you enter the lower fifth dimension. There is a spark of your divinity there waiting for you, the other half of yourself at that level. And so you have a pathway that you will follow. And in this new world in galaxy, which is, you say, why are we talking about a galaxy when we're trying to exist on Earth? Because it is a part of who you are. You are a galactic being. You have the essence of creation from so many levels within you. We never expected, it was never planned that you would sink into such density. And that will never happen again. That's a success. It will never be allowed for any sparks of divinity to sink beneath the fifth dimensional experiments. And so when we say you're predestined, within the predestination, you have free will. And so you could take the low road, you can take the middle road, or you can take the high road, but you will eventually get there. It's up to you. That is your free will. And as we have said many times, as you progress, the path of ascension becomes more narrow. It comes a time for you to make good, better, or best choices. To do no harm. You use your discernment, your discretion, your uniqueness, the diversity of duality, but only in the positive ways. That is what you're learning. That is where you're learning to use discernment. That is where you're learning to listen to the whispers of your soul. 
which if you do listen will become louder and louder. Many of you, many of you are of angelic lineage. You came through the archangels and you refracted down through the many dimensions and became, made, made it possible for the archangel beings to walk on the earth. And there are many others, there are many other great beings that have fragments. And many, many of you have been advanced ascended masters before in other realms and other worlds. And so now, as you can see, this is the time when us all is being brought to the surface, when everything must be exposed, when everything must be to, brought into the light so that it can be reprogrammed into pure neutral light substance. So what do you do? What is your mission? What we are giving you is the information and the tools that you need to clear your vessel, to make yourself a receptacle for the divine light to pour through. And so if you do nothing more than allow the energy to pour forth through you, down through you and down into the earth and back out into the world. It is enough. It is enough. And so all that is occurring, we ask you to not get caught up not get caught up in the negativity, not get caught up in the turmoil. But what you focus your attention on, you give energy to. And so what do you do? You stay neutral. You stay aware. You stay informed. However, you radiate love light to all things on earth. You radiate loving energy to the earth and to all humanity and all creation. No longer can you pray just for your country. You must pray for the earth and all humanity. And as we have said and been, have been telling you over these this last year or so, more and more information or more and more awareness about the Davic and the elemental kingdom. Everything that is not in sold is supplied God's, the God force energy through the Davic and the elemental kingdom. And the great dragons, that is what we have brought forth. We took this messenger many years ago out into the cosmos and we showed her when someone said they felt like they had been a dragon. We took her and this, this lovely lady out into the cosmos and showed these great streams of light that seemed to have wings and seemed to have this dreaming tail and that the white fire was pouring forth from it. This is the process of creation. And this is what we have given you in this form given this messenger, this form, so that you could understand the Divine Father and Mother, who are never separated. They are unified, but they are separated by this loving energy, the masculine and the feminine, for duality, for you're in your sub-universe, for this experiment in duality. So the Divine Father, the seed thoughts, the, man of the, the, the desire to manifest some new creation, a solar system, a star, you. And so the Father sends forth these adamantine particles filled, programmed, 
with these, this divine plan, these seed thoughts. And he sends it into the cosmic incubator. And the Divine Mother brings it alive with her love, her compassion, and her wisdom. And then it comes down into the Paradise Sons and Daughters, S-U-N, the Sons and Daughters. You are a son, S-U-N. And so from there, the great rays, the 12 great rays, all of those are refracted into facets. Each, each, each archangel has a different aspects, attributes, and qualities. And these are brought down and that are stored into great pyramids of light. And then these great fire dragons bring these adamantine particles and they breathe that energy into these pyramids. And the Elohims, I know not, there are many of you who are of the Elohim, the builders of form lineage. You were co-creators. You were master co-creators at different levels. You created many magnets and things. There were those of you who, when you went through the seven spheres, when you went through the solar system, to gradually to come down, to integrate, to activate the seven rays within you, there were keepers, gatekeepers. Many of you are gatekeepers. And you took the new souls to these different, different spheres of energy and helped them to integrate and to decide. You decided, you decided what you wanted to experience, which, which energies you wanted and what part of you. And so you all have been a part of this co-creative process many times. You know how to do it well at the many levels, but of course there is so much more to learn. There is so much we need to know. And so why do we tell you this, since it seems so, so nebulous and so beyond you? And we tell you because you are going to need this information where you're going. The rules are going to be different. And you're going to need to understand it's time to get out of the emotions of spirituality and understand the science of spirituality. The universal laws, what they mean. And the universal laws are added to and refined at each level that you go to. And so we ask you, we say to you, we are here. We are here to guide you, to protect you, to guard you, to support you, to encourage you. All you have to do is ask. And we do tell you that because of the turmoil that is being spewed up into the ethers, the great devas and the elemental kingdom have quite a huge task. And so you need to stop focusing on the hurricanes doing the devastation. You need to send love to that energy. You need to send love when a, when a volcano is exploding. Send the Davy Kingdom love. Send the elementals love. They have to outpicture all of the negativity, everything that you send forth out into the astral plane. Those lower astral planes have been cleared. The three, the three lower astral planes of the third dimension was all filled with the mass consciousness of humanity for many thousands of years. That's what you've been exposed to. Most people have tapped into and are existing with the thought forms that have been stored in the, the astral plane. And so those have been cleared. They're being brought back into harmony. But now, all of this negativity that is coming out from humanity and the anger and the greed, all of these things, see yourself attuning to the Vedic and the elemental kingdom. And as always, I ask for the greatest good of all. It's as simple as that. And so, we also encourage you to create that ascension call around where you are. And you can be told how to do this. We have given the explanation. 
But what you were doing is you were setting your intention. You were anchoring a light column around where you live. The grid is as it's firmly established now, but it is not solidly set. It is free floating. And so the new sacred sites, the new ley lines, will be established by you. The sacred sites, the sacred places you go to, the old sacred sites from the past ages have been contaminated and they've been closed down because their time is over. And so can you see what a magnificent time it is to be alive? Sometimes you wonder why you're here and why you chose this, which you did because you're very brave. You did because you wanted to be a part of this. You did because you know what it is to live in harmony and beauty. Because you have helped to create so many beautiful places. Such magnificent miracles. Oh, if you could see what you have created, you would not doubt. And you would understand what you are capable of. We believe in you. Won't you believe in yourselves? And so we'd have you know that these times they have not be easy. But you are up to the task. You have taken the step onto the narrow path that will lead you to victory. Know that we are with you every moment, just as we have been in the beginning. And we will be with you on this journey of good We surround and enfold you in an oric field of love and protection. Know that you are loved most I am the archangel of the And I bring you these truths. And so it is.